What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Dylan Grove here, Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 30,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it, but I actually just made a post on Facebook asking you guys what kind of content you guys want to see, what videos you want to see, and I had all kinds of different people asking me to film a video going over my top five favorite lures out there on Lake St. Clair and if you have been following me you obviously know I fish Lake St. Clair all the time. I live about an hour from the lake and I am always out there trying to catch some giant smallmouth bass so it is always fun and I've been pretty lucky over the years to fish with some awesome people out there and I've spent so much time out there on the water just trying to figure out where those fish are, trying to catch the biggest fish in the lake. And me and my dad have been pretty lucky to catch some freaking giants over the years. So my dad has really taught me a lot about the lake and a bunch of different people I've fished with over the years. And also me personally going out there, spending time on the lake just riding around the lake not even casting for hours trying to find structure whether it's rocks or weeds or just whatever you can find way offshore is just a key factor when you're out there on lake st Clair. finding any structure that is way out there in the middle of the lake is just super super key those smallmouth bass are like magnets to wherever they can find structure because like my buddy said a long time ago, Lake St. Clair is basically an underwater desert. It's all sand. And one little change in the bottom, it could be a rock like this big or a big boulder like that. And those smallmouth bass are going to be all over it. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to quickly go over some of my favorite lures. Obviously, there's so many different lures you can use out on that lake to catch big fish, but these are some of my favorites that I always have tied on when I'm heading out to Lake St. Clair. So probably starting off, you've seen me throw this lure a lot over the course of the years, and I started throwing it, I think, back in 2020 or 2021. And let me tell you guys, ever since I started throwing this swim bait, it has been non-stop biggins literally every year. This is the Biospawn Exo Swim. And I usually put a little swim bait, or I usually put a little jig head on the front. I switch up the colors sometimes and really just switch up different um, brands. But that swim bait is definitely the key. It's a 4.75 and it's got gold flakes in it. And it is called the Sexy Shad Color, the Bile Spawn Exo Swim. But just swim baits in general work really, really good out there on Lake St. Clair. I've done good on these ones right here. Then also Mega Bass swim baits. My dad always does good out there with the Mega Bass. And here's a really good little Guggen Baits one that I use. And that one right there, I just have it on a Ned Rig jig head and i've caught so many big fish on this little tiny swim bait because usually throughout the year sometimes they want bigger swim baits and sometimes they want these little ones so definitely i'm always going out there with some type of swim bait and that is definitely the key out there on saint Clair. but next up another favorite of me and my dad's if you've been watching the channel over the years you know that we love throwing crankbaits. And one of our best videos out there ever, we caught over 120, it was the craziest day ever. Me and my dad had so much fun out there, but we are throwing this DD-10 Rapala in the mule. And let me tell you guys, this crankbait is the deal out there. Once, once I posted the video on this lure, Literally, you couldn't find these crankbaits anywhere for like over a month or longer. And let me tell you guys, that crankbait right there is the deal. I've caught a lot of fish on that one. And me and my dad were just destroying on that day. It was the coolest thing ever. We were power pulled down and we were casting in the same area for probably like three or four hours, not even moving. 
and it was four, four and a half, five, five and a half pounder, every single cast. I don't know how many doubles we had, but that was probably one of the best days we've ever had on Lake St. Clair, and it was super special um, to be with my dad, so that was cool. And then this is also another really good one that I've caught fish on, the Guggen Recon. It's sort of like this one, but just a different color, different shade, and I've caught a lot of big fish out there on that one as well. So definitely a crankbait is a must have tied on in the springtime. Those smallmouth bass just destroy the crankbaits. They hit them hard too. So that is always a fun bite when you're on a crankbait bite. But next up would have to be a jerk bait. And I'm gonna start out with this one because this is probably one of the first ones my dad was showing me how to throw on Lake St. Clair. Obviously all the bait fish out there, there's perch, gobies, little minnows, all kinds of bait fish. But that one right there is the Livingston and that jerk bait. It's got a deeper diver bill right there. And that jerk bait right there is the deal in the springtime, throwing it in shallow water, keeping your rod tip up and just twitching it. and the biggest thing on Lake St. Clair, just throwing jerk baits in general um, in the springtime, you really want to let that jerk bait sit there for like 10, 15 seconds before you um, jerk it again. Because those smallmouth bass will come up there and just sit right behind it and they'll just stare at it as this thing's suspending. And the longer you sit there, it seems like more and more come check it out. and. If you just get it, give it a little move, they'll frickin' whack it. But that's a really good color right there. Then me and my dad, I've done really good on this one right there. The purple back. This one's honestly in insane out there. We've caught so many big fish on that purple one. And then I've also caught some really good ones on that Guggen Squad jerkbait. The Guggen Squad Scout. So... Definitely a jerk bait is always tied on when I'm heading out there. Even in the summertime when it's a little colder, um, if it's like 70, 80 degrees, and then the next day it's like 50, 60, throw a jerk bait on. Just that little change in weather, um, they'll start hitting a jerk bait. So that is always fun. But next up, this was a crazy day. <laughs> I went out there one day. I've never really been a big Ned Rig guy. And I, I just figured I'd go out there and try it out one day because I've heard all these guys catch super big fish on Ned Rigs out there. And I took this Guggen Bates rattling net out there. It's got the rattle in the plastic. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's super loud when you're popping it on bottom down there in those smallmouth freaking destroy this thing but i went out there with this nedrig and it was insane i had one of the best days ever by myself i was just riding around the lake finding structure and i found a big pile of smallmouth and i was sight fishing them with this little nedrig i could see him in like 10 or 12 foot of water just flipping my nedrig over there and Literally every time this thing, this Ned rig wouldn't even hit the bottom and they just dive bomb it. So that was super cool. These Ned rigs are game changers out on Lake St. Clair. But next up would have to be a drop shot. And everyone knows drop shots are like standard out there on St. Clair. If you don't have a drop shot on, I don't know what you're doing because the smallmouth bass love them. But this is probably my all time favorite drop shot out there. It's the Guggen Bates Dragon Drop in the mud minnow color. And I don't know how many giants I have caught on this thing over the years. And what I'm doing with that drop shot, guys, just casting out around any type of structure and trying to locate those smallmouth bass because they freaking love drop shots out there. I've caught. So many big fish on this one right here. And then a bunch of different colors. I've caught them on watermelon red. Um, all white ones, like shad color. But it seems like they really like that orange, like yellow body with the brown back. And 
They smell super good too, so I'm sure the smallies like them. <laughs> Those are probably my favorite lures out on the lake, but, but I'm gonna show you another lure that me and my dad love throwing out on Lake St. Clair in the springtime. We throw them literally every year and catch all kinds of smallmouth bass on them. I've got a couple different videos using these, but the A rigs are super fun to throw out there on Lake St. Clair. The smallmouth bass love them. It looks like a big cloud of bait fish, and I love throwing these. You, you probably have to get a big stiff rod to be able to cast this, but this is just the three arm one. I usually, I actually just got this one in the mail not too long ago, so I rigged it up for next year when I'm going out there, but me and my dad, we usually throw the five arm one with blades on it. And I've got a couple hanging up over there, but I had this one rigged up, ready to go. These A rigs are like magnets for smallmouth, just casting out and reeling it super slow. It looks like a big um, school of bait and they just freaking train wreck them. So I love throwing these big A rigs. They definitely catch all kinds of fish out there on St. Clair. But I really appreciate each and every one of you stopping by and watching my videos. And I always love meeting everyone at the boat ramps and stuff. It's the coolest, obviously. Lake St. Clair is one of the best smallmouth fisheries out there. So there's literally so many different people coming all over the country to fish St. Clair. And I'm on YouTube trying to help you guys learn more about the lake and I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a comment below and, and you tell us about your favorite lure that you throw out there on Lake St. Clair, whether it's a crankbait, swim bait, tube, whatever you guys like to throw, blade baits. There's literally a, so many different lures you can throw out there, but these ones are my favorite. So let's hear in the comments below your favorite. And also maybe I'll see you guys around the boat ramps. Make sure to always watch for me around the boat ramps. And if you see me, come over and say hi, grab a picture and I'll give you an extreme outdoorsman sticker or maybe a hat or something. So really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.